Hi guys, Spider Collector here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I clean my tarantula's enclosure, and I'll be doing a feeding. Uh, I hope you like this video. Let's get started. So this is uh, my new green bottle blue tarantula that I got on October 24th, and I hope this tarantula turns out to be a female. And so I'll be feeding, I'll, I'll be feeding her um, a cricket. Let's see. There we go. Isn't she beautiful? So here's a better look of her enclosure. Right now she's trying to um, find where her entrance is. I'll show you the webbing that, he, that she's done. See there's one entrance right there. And then at the bottom. So here it is. And then there's an entrance right over here let's see, let's see if I could get a good shot from inside see. see right there under the big leaf So she, right. she found her entrance and uh, you don't see it as clear as you saw a little bit a while ago because there's webbing on the glass but right now she's spinning a silk mat to place the cricket and then she'll web on top of the cricket and devour the juices like soup. Alright, let's move so, on. So here's my Mayo Green Bottle Blue. And he recently molted. That's why that's how I knew that he was a male. On my last video. So here he is. I won't be feeding him today. So yeah. So here he is. Let's see. I got him a new enclosure. Let's see, focus. Okay. You rubbing a little bit. Alrighty then, let's move. Okay, on. so we'll be cleaning my rose hair tarantula, and the first thing you need to have is gloves because I don't know if she scraped away some um, irritating hairs and I've experienced that and that's like the worst experience you can have so the first thing you do is obviously you need to 
get the tarantula out of the enclosure. So we'll, I'll be getting her out. See, there she is. We'll be placing her in a plastic container. Okay. So there she is. You could kind of see her. Sorry for the lighting. Okay. I won't I won't be throwing away the substrate. I'll just be cleaning what's on top. Okay, okay. Yeah. Her web. It's another chunk right here. Big chunk. See that? Big. Some over here. Okay, now I'll be moving this plant. And the water dish. So I used alcohol to remove the tarantula poop. Um, so I was thinking of putting more substrate because because this tarantula likes to burrow and yeah I'll put more okay I'll show you guys okay guys so I use eco earth substrate but it comes in human which my tarantula doesn't like that so I'll be placing that at the bottom okay this. so I'll move this to the side This one right here. See the difference? Now I'm gonna put this on top of this one. I think I, damn lighting. Okay. So the so I'll be mixing it with the dry substrate. Just don't want to make a lot of um, uh, smoke, with, like dust, um, with the substrate. Okay. Down. I might have scared you guys <laughs> further with the light. Okay. So that looks about right. Okay. So then, first thing I'll do is place the webbing that she did inside the burrow. Or, you know what? No. Let's just see a bit like that. So I added the plant that was on the board at the beginning of the video. So here it is, our new enclosure. I mean, well, clean enclosure. Then her water dish. I'll be rinsing that one now in a second. So I'll be placing back the tarantula. Okay. 
Hallo. Relaxe. Ready then. So that's how I clean my enclosure. I apologize for the lighting and the camera angle, but you get a good sense how I clean my my tanks. So thank you for watching, and I'll see if I can make a feeding video of her tomorrow. Thank you.